CQ Blind Ham. Hello, CQ Blind Ham. CQ Blind Ham from November Special 5 Victor 5. CQ Blind Ham. CQ Blind Ham from November Echo 5 Victor. This is the CQ Blind Hams Podcast. For more information, visit www.blindhams.com. Hi, folks, from November Echo 5, Victor. And I have a little something for those who use AutoSky. If you have no interest in AutoSky, then you don't you probably don't really need to do this because I found uh, a little weather script that will read the weather warnings or the weather warnings that AutoSky alludes to. For instance, if you use AutoSky, you might hear severe weather warnings, severe or severe thunderstorm warnings, severe thunderstorm watch. And you're thinking, okay, what is that? Well, the people at AutoSky or the created AutoSky say there's enough things out there. That you can listen to weather radio or AM radio, FM radio, broadcast channels, whatever, where nothing more needs to be done. But someone got the idea of creating a script that will actually read those weather warnings so probably the best way to do that is a function on demand like if I hit star 83 on my node will this script the script will be executed oh wait a minute it may be star 85 yeah star 85 because I have a couple of other things there but anyhow but this was made available by KD8TIG, Ben in Ohio. And if one wants to install that on the All Star node, it is fairly simple process. SSH into the node, and then go to option nine, which is the shell prompt. Now I chose to put this in the uh, slash user slash local slash SBIN folder because when you put in a script there it'll, you can execute it from any directory without using a full path. So I'll, ex I'll change directories and get into that particular directory. So I'll do a CD space slash, oh, wait, wait. CD space slash USR slash local slash SBIN enter. Once in that directory, I'll do WGET space HTTP colon slash slash www dot k d eight t i g slash downloads slash weather all in lowercase weather underscore data dot t g z and this is an archive so anyway once you get that it'll do a few odds and ends and if the, if the download is successful you will have a file in the SBIN folder called weather underline data period TGZ so when that is done, you'll execute this command, tar, T-A-R. That's the archiving software that's used to create this thing. Tar, space, Zulu, X-Ray, Victor, Foxtrot, 
space, weather, underline, data, dot TGZ. Enter. Now when you do that, the resulting file will be weather, underline, data, dot PHP. At that point, I like to try to execute it. So since it's in the SBIN directory, I always like to go to, back to my root directory before I got out of out of the node entirely. So I'll do a CD space slash, which will take me back to the root directory. And it's a good idea to test this script. So you can type in weather underline data dot PHP enter and if it's a clear day you should get no active watches or warnings through your radio once the script works you can then create a function for it it will be executed by a DTMF tone so then the next time Auto Sky comes on and you say hey there's a warning out there wonder what it is well then you can execute your function code and it'll read it for you uh, now this uses uh, or the file is created using voice RSS so if you don't have a voice RSS key already you can go to voicerss.com and register for one. Um, you know, there might be people who don't like that. But anyway, get a key and then put it in the appropriate file. And There's a comp file. You'll have to put that in if you haven't done it already. But anyway, it works, works quite nicely. So that's another tip for the day. In E5, E73.